In this video, we will show how simple value plotting uh, works. So we are going to create a new project and will plot sinus value change over time. For that, we'll create block with the value property. We'll create parametric diagram inside. We'll put um, expression with dependency on time for the Time change will use a um, dedicated variable which uh, represents the model clock and will run the simulation. So I'm creating new project. I will create a block diagram, we'll create block, and then we'll create a well, the property, let's say x, type real. Now right click, tools, parametric equation wizard and type uh, expression and we'll use uh, sim time dedicated variable name for simulation time at parse and we see it mapped uh, x to x, sim time is a variable which it's not uh, required to connect somewhere, so I will delete. This is important because if it is not connected, it will not work. It will wait for that variable input, but it's actually takes time from the model clock, simulation clock. Now, uh, in order to run it, we need to, to specify that time is uh, uh, running. Uh, and uh, for that, I will create a simulation configuration. We'll call it uh, minus config, and then we'll try. It. We'll take the block as execution target. We'll double click. We'll go to the time properties to specify that start time is zero time. Unit um, size will be in milliseconds to have step size small enough. To and step delay, which is, will be representation of um, speed for us, not real simulation speed, uh, uh, will be also something which will uh, allow us to track this value change over time. Without this delay, it would be as fast as it can. And then uh, that's it. Uh, and that allows us to run this uh, simulation configuration. And we have X changed, and I can right click here, show timeline ch chart, and we see the sinus value change over time. Okay, so now how to make that plot to be consistent at all times? Time series chart here, plot, representation in the block of the block, representation of the value show something like five seconds in milliseconds uh, period fixed rate fixed uh, uh, range and refresh rate uh, let's say it is uh, again 50 milliseconds because it does the step size and now make it as the ui okay run again so we have this working if you want to make it um, Uh, something more here so for example to track cosinus we can go to parametric diagram click on the equation wizard and add uh, actually maybe first of all go to block diagram add one more property y real here you go go to the parametric diagram equation wizard type y sign cos same time parse map, okay, delete this guy, and now in the config I need to track also Y property here of the block. Now if I will run this one, let's save it, if I will run, I will get two properties track over time. So the 
analysis information maybe it's not needed for me so i can turn it off here we have this working now if you want um, to check what language was used here so we can we can go to this uh, constraint block right here go to the constraint block here there is expression here here we have uh, constraints constraints okay so here we have them visible and now in the expression dialog we see this English or so by default JavaScript but for example we can set even as a other math engine like for example uh, MATLAB if you have integrated MATLAB which is actually just to install on your machine so this will be MATLAB and this will be let's say um, let's say this uh, let's set it also as a MATLAB both of them so now MATLAB will uh, be used as the evaluation engine so it will uh, slow down at the beginning but once it uh, start using it it will run as fast as it can so because it's static path engine So same result, but with different math, math engine. Any of them could be used in combination. So one constraint could be resolved with the built-in math, another one with the uh, MATLAB uh, or JavaScript uh, math engine. And that would work in the same way.